So this was a, uh, a car accident. Okay, and how's the patient doing? Okay, all right. Hi there. Yeah, I just got your report, so it looks to me like you were involved in a car accident. Okay, well, I'm the medical examiner. I'm here to just assess your injuries, see what they are, and hopefully try and help you feel a little bit better, okay? All right, let me just get seated. So, how bad was the car accident? It was pretty bad. Okay, well, uh, the passenger is going to be okay. We're sending them to the hospital. Uh, yes, I know, just, just calm down. Everything is going to be okay. They sustained a bit of minor injuries, but we're debating whether or not to send you to the hospital, okay? So I'm just gonna treat your wounds here and see what I can do, hopefully, so that you don't have to go to the hospital, okay? All right, so I just want to record your vitals, make sure everything is okay. All right, so what happened during the accident with your passenger? You were the passenger in the car, correct? Okay, so you um, went over the median, like a small overlap kind of crash. Okay, uh, whose fault was it, in your opinion? Your driver? Okay. Well, I'm not here to judge that at all. I just want to make sure that you are okay. Okay, because you're the passenger. You have nothing to do with this thing. You were just caught in the mix. So first thing I'm obviously going to do, I just want to listen to your heart, listen to your lungs. Make sure they're all functioning correctly, okay? And uh, big question, did the airbags in the car deploy? No. All right, that's good, because they can inflict serious injury, even though they're meant to protect greater injury. Breath in and hold it for me. Let it out. Good. And just breathe normally. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to take this and put it around the back of your body, okay? And I'm just going to tell you to breathe in three different areas. Breathe in. Deep breath. Breathe out. Over here, deep breath in, and out, very good. Okay, so I think that your vitals are okay. Yes, I don't think they're going to be a problem. Uh, you seem to have quite good vitals when it comes to your heart and your lungs. So I don't think they were affected at all during the accident. No, okay. Next, I just have this heart rate monitor. I'm just gonna put on you, it's a pulse oximeter. Let me just turn it on. I'm gonna go on your finger like this, okay? Perfect. I'm just gonna clip that on. Not too snug, right? Okay, well that's just gonna give me an accurate reading of your pulse and um, all your other functions in your body, okay? Yep, all right, it's working well. I'm gonna leave that on there. Okay, perfect. Next thing I wanna do is measure your blood pressure. Put this blood pressure, blood pressure sleeve, okay? So let's just put that on. going to be too painful. Does your right arm hurt a bit? Okay, I'm probably going to put it over here. So I'm just going to bump this thing now, okay?
be sending you to the hospital. Uh, I am going to, however, have to perform a blood transfusion here, okay? All right, yeah, it's quite a simple procedure. I'm just gonna stick a little syringe in your arm and it's just gonna give you a little bit more blood, okay? It'll increase your blood pressure and you won't have to worry about anything, okay? Good. So I'm not gonna do the transfusion right now. I am just gonna sanitize my hands and I suggest you do the same. Don't need any rubbish on your fingers from the car accident. Okay. 
And what car were you in? The Subaru. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with them being unsafe, yeah. So just a cut here and a cut here. Yeah, you're lucky to have survived that accident though with just a few scrapes that, that was amazing. I mean, the accident wasn't amazing, but you being able to survive with such minor injuries is fantastic.
So I have two here. I'm just gonna open one up. Your arm again and make sure that your blood 
pressure has increased. Okay. All right, let me just take a look at that dial.